shopping report, I want to go straight to Benet Embry now. He's a local radio personality. He lives in the area where this happened. He saw it all happen. Benet, you were just feet from, from, from this when it went down. So let me just ask you, what did you see? What I saw, ma'am, I think, first off, let me clarify. You cannot take a seven-minute clip over the, and, and use that for evaluation for a 30-minute incident. What I did see before the cameras or the video store going is, is that teens jumping over the fence after security was telling them they can't come in to swim, not because they were black, it's because they didn't live in the community itself. In our HOA, you can only have two people come to, two guests come with you as, uh, two guests come with you to the pool. What happened is real simple. It was a part. It was a pool party. It was a nice pool party. Everything was fine and decent. But when the flyer went, uh, uh, when the flyer got on social media, what happened at that particular point? People from outside the community started coming. Once they couldn't get access to the pool, that's the jumping over the fence. That's uh, the cursing out the security guard. That's and th and then the fights broke out. And then that's what the police call. So this perception that hmm. my community and people that were living there said, oh, it's a black party, let's call the police, we don't want black kids in our pool, it's totally false. All right, From so that particular point. Yeah. So, so, so when no, you, no, I'm sorry, go ahead. You know, I was just going to ask you on this issue of race, right? You just heard uh, the, the teen in the bikini, right? Her father say this is absolutely about race. Uh, then in that piece by our reporter, he spoke to uh, a young black man who was there who said uh, this was, had nothing to do with race. Right, so you have both I, sides there. I mean, it sounds like you're also saying this was not about race. I do not believe that this was about race. What this was was a, a, a teenage party that I got out of control. It was about 130 kids there, 100 good kids just having a good time. Out of that 130, predominantly African-American, seven knuckleheads ruined the whole thing for everybody. That's what this is all about. I, don't think, I do not believe that officer showed up to the subdivision with the intention, I'm going to go out here and swing some black, black kids around. I do not believe that. That is not the way the community is set up, and mm -hmm. that's not the community we live in. So amidst all the death threats that I have personally received and the banning of my radio show, you know, my neighbor Brian Gessner had to send his son away because he's receiving death threats. And you're and getting death threats because why? Because you're saying this wasn't because they were black. Right, exactly. O according to, you know, everybody else, then, you know, I am an Uncle Tom now. And just like my friend Brian Gessner, who was actually on the video helping break up the fights and even giving kids water, he's now, you know, a, a skinhead Nazi. That's not what it's all about. This whole thing has been sensationalized by mm. sub, uh, sub uh, social media types that are looking for a story. And as I said in my Facebook post, we as a community, the black community, have other issues to deal with other than uh, flights of fancy and made up stuff that we need, to, we need to be addressing the real issues with our community, our society, and our country mm -hmm. versus just because, you know, somebody's mad. All right. Well, Benet, I appreciate your taking the time and coming on and, and being so honest and blunt about what you think. Thank you.